Cloud computing is seen to be one of the prime requirements of uh, today's world powered entirely by information technology, right? Now, companies are pouring billions and billions of dollars every single year to research what is the best way that they can use cloud computing and solve problems. Now, with this, what happens is that there becomes a huge spike wherein the requirement for proficient cloud computing experts increases. Now that cloud computing is such a huge domain, it can actually get confusing about where and when and how you can get started with the domain itself. So keeping this in mind, we here at Great Learning have come up with this video on the career roadmap for cloud computing for the year uh, 2021 and beyond where we'll be discussing the structured way that you guys can use to get started and of course begin learning in the domain. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains, absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. One thing you should know about a career in cloud computing right now is that it's extremely popular. People are pouring in a lot of money, which makes it a $120 billion plus uh, industry. And of course, after COVID, everyone will look towards cloud computing because everyone is working remotely, accessing servers which are based in the cloud or whatever uh, that is of similar requirements, right? Now, there is a projected 35% growth that's going to happen uh, in the year 2021 in this entire industry. And I believe that is amazing because at the end of the day, with this much amount of growth, it creates a lot of job openings. In fact, thousands of job openings are, uh, you know, perceived for the next year and so. So to complete uh, your roadmap, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions on how you can work towards uh, becoming an expert in cloud computing. For example, how do you become a cloud architect? What are the perspectives of even having a career in cloud computing after the pandemic ends? Do you require programming? And of course, is it a compulsion to have a computer science degree to get started at all? Well, let's get started with the first point in the roadmap. You should always begin your journey in cloud computing by understanding the fundamentals. Look towards what cloud computing is, not just as a domain, but as a solution to a variety of problems. Now, there are many, many types of cloud computing out there. There is a variety of services and solutions uh, that are being offered. Uh, for example, you can get an entire infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and a lot more. So it's not just storing your photos on the cloud. Uh, it is much more than that. You can perform in-depth analysis, AI related, machine learning related, and a lot of that uh, in a cloud computing domain. So understanding all of this is key. And of course, looking at all the major players today is going to help you a lot. Think about Amazon providing Amazon Web Services. Think about Microsoft providing the Azure platform. Think about Google Cloud platform. And of course, even the IBM Cloud as well. So these four uh, key players are very important and a little risk search into uh, these domains will go a long way in your career. And of course, once you understand all the fundamentals, the next thing you'll be looking at is understanding operating systems. Now, it is very vital that you know operating systems, you know how these work on a functional level, because in a cloud computing environment, you can have a virtual machine with either uh, Linux running on it, Windows Server, you can have Mac OS, Android, so you can have a lot of customized operating systems as well. So without having the knowledge of uh, working hands on with these operating systems, it can get very 
very difficult. So uh, make sure you work on operating systems. Make sure you understand uh, certain uh, service specific uh, operating system offerings out there because uh, having a personalized operating system is very different from how an operating system works uh, in a server domain in the cloud domain as well. So having knowledge about that in the third point as mentioned, it is very, very important. Right. So after understanding operating systems, you will have to look towards a certain amount of programming. In my opinion, if you ask me if programming is required in cloud computing, I would say yes, because even if you do not require straight up programming languages, maybe like Python, C or C++, you definitely have a requirement to work with database languages. Now, when you're working with a lot of data in the cloud computing platform to handle it, manage it and store it, you're going to require knowledge of SQL structured query language and of course there are other no SQL languages which you will need to interact with the database itself right but then Nowadays, the trend is changing in a way where even cloud computing folks ask for Python. So it is vital to at least have a basic exposure to Python to see how probably you can use a cloud computing platform to provide a solution that is driven by Python, right? And the next thing which is very important is to make sure you familiarize yourself with the .NET architecture out there. This is a very wide and ocean's worth of information. So take it easy, take it slow, but make sure you understand at least the fundamentals of how the dotnet architecture works later make sure whenever you're working with any of these concepts the theoretical concepts are of course fascinating but always push towards having a hands-on approach where you are monkeying around to figure new things out to understand something which is maybe not present in the documentation of course exploring around in a tool which you have not used before will definitely pique your curiosity and help you learn that much better now, after programming, step number four or the path number four in your career roadmap is to understand the varieties of platforms. As I mentioned previously, there are four key players today who are always trending and thousands and thousands of companies look towards these guys for their cloud solution. So. To pick a platform, the first thing you have to do is you have to explore all four out there, Microsoft Azure, AWS, GCP, and IBM Cloud. Now, without even ever using AWS, you cannot say AWS is good or bad or if it's meant for you or not meant for you, right? Think of an ice cream flavor. Without having to try it, you would not know if it's your favorite or if you like it or not like it. So having the basic fundamentals of working with all four of these platforms to maybe build a small project, uh, you know, mini project or something like that will give you clarity about the platform, the support, the documentation and a lot, lot more about the domain itself. So make sure you actually spend time with all four to hone in on one of the things that, uh, you know, one of the domains that will attract you a lot and then stick to it and build upon that. Now, after finalizing your favorite domain to work with, the next thing you'll have to look towards is definitely business management, in my opinion. Now, why would you require business management in cloud computing, you ask? Well, many times it, it so happens that whenever you're providing a solution with respect to cloud computing, you will not be a sole alone worker, right? So you will not be uh, an individual contributor. You will have to be a team player. So it is very vital that you know how to work with a team. Uh, you have to have amazing communication skills. And if you're working with clients directly, you need to have the ability to negotiate certain offerings as well, right? Now, you cannot charge one price for all the clients. In many cases, this will not work. So if you're providing a product or a service, you do have to customize it based on whatever is required by the client and the pricing depends on all of that as well. So you need to negotiate and you need to make sure that you're getting a good amount of returns on your investment of time and effort and manpower towards providing a solution to the client itself. And um, among all of these, as a business manager, you will have to look towards knowing how you can provide solutions with multiple different domains, be it AWS, GCP, Azure, and all of these knowing that which service of which provider will work best to solve your problem as well. So this is where the business management uh, comes in. And I would highly suggest when you're beginning to learn cloud computing, especially in 2021, make sure to put in a good amount of time on step number five as well. 
Because after business management, uh, we talk about one of the most important concepts of 2021, which is DevOps in cloud computing. Now, DevOps is one of these things that bridges development and operation. And when you're, when you're taking all these up right into the cloud, it's going to require a good amount of knowledge. For example, you need working knowledge of tools such as Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Kubernetes, and all of these. Of course, uh, containerization technology is required with respect to Docker, how you can impart DevOps methodology using virtual cloud environments and all the latest tools. Now with DevOps, there is one thing you should know is that based on what's trending, based on all the new tools and technologies out there in the market, people will tend to change around and shift around a bit. So it is very vital you are open to learning new things in DevOps and of course implementing them right then and there. So having the ability to learn quickly and to implement a new thing in an existing architecture is something I would highly suggest you guys work on in step number six. Because after DevOps, one of the most important steps is certification. Now with certification, what usually happens is all of these cloud platforms have examinations on their own. For example, if you're looking towards expertise in Google Cloud Platform, you have six certifications there. If you're looking towards AWS, you have 12 AWS certifications there. And of course, if you're looking towards Azure, again, you have 12 with IBM, you have five. So some of these are examinations, some of these are certification offerings, which if you clear through and of course with the right knowledge and the right training if you clear all of these and have a certificate at the end of it your resume will become very valuable to a potential person who's hiring uh, for this particular domain because being certified versus not being certified is the difference between what makes someone a good cloud computing expert versus a great one so make sure you're putting in a good amount of effort time and skill to work on certification offerings as well because once you are certified, you would have reached your final destination of how you can begin and work your way into becoming an expert in cloud computing, especially uh, in the year 2021. So make sure you work your way through all these steps diligently as shown in this career roadmap. And at the end of it, do let us know in the comment section about what step has the most impact for your life on this. All right, guys, with this, you have come to the end of the session. Make sure to check out Great Learning Academy. We do have a lot of courses there in this particular domain that will definitely interest you. All of it is free. You can enroll for free, get started for free. And of course, at the end, you can have a course completion certificate for free as well. So make sure to check that out. And guys, an important thing, make sure you subscribe to the Great Learning YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that whenever we put out videos, right, you will always be in touch with them. Right? Right, guys and if you love this video make sure to give us a quick thumbs up hit that like button and share it among your friends and family members who can make complete use of it all right guys thank you so much i'll see you on the next one